your relationship to the landscape changes, but you also realize how incredibly insignificant you are, even just in the first minutes that you lift up and your whole city just becomes this tiny thing below. You realize nothing really matters in a very, very good way. Only 20% of Alaska is accessible by road, so a huge portion of the state depends on aviation as an essential service for things like food, transport, medical care, fuel, all of the above, everything. Um, depends on planes for dozens of small communities. But flying is also simply part of the culture. Um, in, in many of the cities, including Anchorage, where I grew up, people use planes to simply explore the landscape, um, to get to, re to access remote wilderness areas. This particular flight was really a beautiful one where we had a group of pilots um, in and from the Anchorage area who agreed to fly together. And so I was flying with my father as a pilot with the window open, leaning out of the window, and we were all coordinating on the radio um, so that everybody was um, at, coming at a similar speed next to us and we could photograph in this beautiful sunset light. I think that depictions of aviation, especially in Alaska, are of, often really focused on men. And so as a part of that, I wanted to challenge those stereotypes by working with as many women as I could. As I began the project, Making Contacts, I realized that the, the female flying community is huge in Alaska and incredibly supportive. In fact, so supportive that now I want to learn to fly as well. The woman in that picture, she's an author, a dog musher, and now a pilot and a mother of two. One of the questions that I asked her was, what qualities do you think make a good pilot? And she said, being unflappable, meaning that nothing can distract you, nothing can phase you, you're just completely focused. You're 100% there. And that is something that's linked to a lot of spirituality and practices around the world.